We're back at it again, working on the home restoration. I think I'm gonna start calling it a restoration instead of a renovation. I don't like the word renovation. I don't know, it sounds bad. We're starting the walls. Which is exciting. Yeah, the bedroom walls right here. And for the bedroom walls, we're also doing a new kind of wood. In the bathroom, we did a New Zealand pine. Which is awesome. In the entryway, we did a southern yellow pine from the USA, which is cool. In the bedroom, we started with southern pine on the ceiling, but on the walls, we decided to switch to this, uh, I think it's a spruce. It's a Swedish spruce, so this came from Sweden. I don't know how it's gonna stain. I don't know, I don't wanna drag this out too long, but I just wanna show you guys when I change wood. So this, you can see it's knotty. The reason we're switching up the wood is because, look at the size of this room. We have a lot of walls to do, and honestly, we've been having trouble getting this southern yellow pine, and it costs a lot. We usually spend about $14 a board for that, over $14 a board, and uh, sometimes we can get it for 12 depending on what we're doing. We're able to get those for about $10 a piece, so that's a pretty good savings over the, the room. We can also get different lengths, like I can't get the, the uh, pine in a 10 foot length, but I can get those in a 10 foot length. That saves us money, there's less waste. So it's cheaper wood. And also we're gonna be going a little bit darker color on the bedroom wall. I don't wanna say dark, but it's just darker, it's not white. So I think that all those knots will blend in easier. I didn't want a really knotty wood up here. We're not going for a knotty pine finish. We wanted it to be more clean, but on the walls. We think it'll look okay. We can get away with knotty wood. Not big knots, just a bunch of little knots. It'll save us money and make it a little easier because I think we can get that wood more easily. So we just processed our first batch of that wood and we're ready to stain it. And we're gonna show you guys the stain color that we got. Mm-hmm. That's it. <laughs> now we have revealed this color already, but some of you guys haven't seen every video so here it is again this is pajarito red don't be fooled it's not red yeah if you want to call it red you can but it's it's like a clayish pinkish orangish salmon color and if you're wondering what pajarito means it's baby bird or birdie right mm -hmm. and some of you guys who may be just joining us, might think that's a bold color choice that we're gonna regret, but it was inspired by this red rosin paper that we put on our walls. That's how we chose the color. Uh, Ashley really liked the paper and said, I wanted that color. Yeah. And it goes perfectly with this old style that we're doing because if you look at old houses, they were pretty bold sometimes. Yep. Let's try it out. These boards are coming out so cool. I really actually like the color. It looks neat. It really does match the walls in its own way, but it's, I think it's gonna be good. But the spruce, if this is spruce, I think it is, it's taking the stain very nicely, nice and smooth, and it's covering up those knots exactly like I wanted. 
You can definitely see the grain of the knots, but the, the, the eye of the knot doesn't stand out. Now, we only got 15 of these boards, so we're not going to make it very far on the wall. But, it's a good start, and I like this so much, we're going to stick with these. I'm pretty sure we're going to stick with this type of wood. And, we'll have to pick up another batch soon, so we can keep this project going. Wow, check these out. The stain is dry, we're getting ready for the clear coat, but I just wanted to show you guys the color. It is bright. I mean, these are a lot different than I expected. Maybe not a lot different, but definitely uh, warmer than expected. This is supposed to kind of mimic this color, and it does. When you stain wood, you never really know what you're gonna get because the stain will pick up the color, you know, of the wood, so. Uh, with that pine, I don't know, it has a lot more orange to it maybe, but it still looks good. I think Ashley's okay with it. I'm going to start the process of putting a clear varnish on it, and this is the first coat. And we should be able to get both coats on today because we're starting pretty early, so that's all. The first coat of sealer is dry. We just got done sanding them, so we're going to put the second coat on. This is the final coat, and then we can start installing, which is really cool because I want to see these on the wall. The wood is done. It looks fantastic. And I got up today thinking today was installation day. We were going to start the wood on the walls, but I'm going to pause. We're going to change gears and go shopping again. What I was thinking was that instead of working on one wall as I was going to, I'm going to work on all three of these walls. One, two, three at the same time. I'm gonna to try to do that to keep my corners lined up because I want my my boards to intersect evenly and not look like this. I would rather it look like that. So Ashley and I made a plan. We figured out what kind of wood to buy. We're gonna to go to the store, see what they have, buy as much as we can, process more wood. We're gonna to try to build up a stockpile of all the wood we'll need to do each wall t t t layer by layer. I hope this makes a difference. We'll see how it goes. All right, we got back home. I got the bus right here. We're loaded up with wood. I think this is the largest load of wood that we've bought yet. I believe I have 26 12 footers and maybe 22 10 footers. I doubt I'm gonna get through all of that wood, but we're gonna start processing tongues, grooves. We're gonna get as much wood done as we can. You guys might notice I got a new pair of earmuffs. These are pretty cool, comfortable, work good. I'm so happy because I had some old cheap ones that were so uncomfortable. Made in USA. And we've shown you this process several times, too many times. I don't want to bore you. Maybe we'll do like a super time lapse, fast, fast. See how much wood we can get done. Full to the top.
halfway through. Maybe not. Uh, the rain keeps slowing us down, though. Wow, that was a lot of wood. That's probably the most wood we've done in a day. 48 pieces of wood finished. Now we have to finish them with stain, sealer. That's going to be slow. We, we've really only done small batches at a time to make it easy for us. And that's usually all the wood we can find at the store. So, wow. But... While I was running this through the router, I get deep in thought, and I was thinking about what a great savings this is. You guys know that we uh, bought a cheaper wood, and a lot of this, we have different sizes here, but the, the wood we bought previously was 12 to $14, depending on which wood we bought, and these are 10 to $12. So if you consider that we're saving up to $2 per board, these 48 boards just saved us almost a hundred dollars just in this run that we did right now so i'm glad we're able to switch over to this less expensive knotty pine it's not a knotty pine but knotty. and it still looks awesome once it's stained and sealed yeah it comes out great i'm still happy we did what we did on the ceiling with the white i think it looks good this works on the wall we're saving money and let me just say before we leave the workshop We've had some people concerned that we are wasting wood when we cut off the ends of our boards. You know, sometimes you just, it makes more sense to buy a long board to get what you need and you will have cutoffs, but don't worry. Check this out. Got a whole stack of near two feet cutoffs over here. Look at, I have all my white ones from the bathroom still. We have a bunch this length, which are probably, you know, 13, 14, 14 inches. So we got those. And we have a few more in the house and on the porch. So don't worry, I save my scraps. They're not being wasted. And I do use them. I use them frequently. They're great for filling in small spaces between doors, near corners, and for just making little projects. So they will be saved until they can be used. So um, nothing is really being wasted. Anything that's too bad to use, like just sh moldy or shredded or whatever, we just burn, but that's that. So now we're not gonna get to finishing those boards today because that's gonna be a long drawn out process. And we don't want this video to drag out too long and we don't wanna make you guys wait too long. There's no progress on the car yet. But, I mean, I wouldn't say no. We, We've been looking it over, thinking of things. Planning, researching, shopping. Yeah, that's part of it, I guess. Yeah, and we took out a tail light. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's all. We'll give you guys the update when we get to it. There's no rush on that project. That's just when we have time. Of course, the rain stopped now that we just finished. Mm hmm It was raining the whole time that we were processing that wood. Yeah. And I had to keep getting wet and getting the wood wet. And, and sometimes we just had to like completely stop because it was like torrential downpours. As you can see, the yard is holding up. Yeah. It's it's way better. This, this fill that we brought in, it works. Right yeah. after the rain like this, yeah, it's a little soupy, it's a little soft. But it 
dries up like in a day or whatever. Yeah, and you don't have mud <laughs> caked on your feet yeah. like we used to have. Just Now it's just sand and that's way better. Way better. I think that's all we have. I don't have anything else to share. Me neither. Yeah, so what do you guys think about the new stain color? I can't wait to see it on the walls. Ashley wanted it. We're going with it. I asked her a dozen times or more, are you sure? And I say yes. <laughs> so that's what it's going to be and it's going to look awesome. We're going to really pull it together. That'll come soon. So thanks for watching and until next time, take care. See ya.